The average age in Gaza is just 18. Make no mistake, this is a children's war. More children have died in Gaza in four weeks than in all of the world's conflicts in each of the last three years. There are a million children caught up in the devastation who are orphaned and displaced, sleeping outside as the weather grows colder, short of food and forced to drink dirty water. In most conflicts, we would expect children to be evacuated to a safer place to receive care and shelter. What makes this so devastating is that almost uniquely in this conflict, that is not going to happen. And in the face of such an extraordinary threat to children, the international community is obligated to do more. With the Foreign Secretary at the G7 this week, will the Government join us in calling for an emergency plan to support the children of Gaza, to prioritise aid to children, safe and protected shelters for food, clean water and medical care as winter sets in? Because this crisis didn't start in Gaza on the 7th of October. Even before then, two-thirds of children were suffering from trauma. But one aid agency that operates in North Sinai and Gaza told me last week that this now stands at 100%. Without a long-term coordinated plan for the children of Gaza, the political solution we need will not be realised and the cycle of violence will not be broken. We can and we must do more. Yeah.